and not that. Must have been a lapse in concentration, is all, all I can think of there. Missing that comfortable red to the left middle. That's the problem, isn't it, Neil? When, if you miss a ball such as that, and I completely agree with you, it must have been a lapse of concentration. There's nothing you can do, whereas in other individual sports, such as in tennis, you play the next point. You, you have no control now. You have to sit down and suffer whilst your other players at the table. Wow. I think the mental side of this game is really tough at times. Zhu is still jump, jumping and running around the table here. Probably cannot believe he's back at the table with a, a great chance to win the frame. No, because it was a mistake that he made, which in a roundabout way has given him this chance. I think that jumped, and he's gesticulating a, a, the same. It looked to me as if that cube just jumped in the air slightly. Excellent. Good recovery from getting himself into a bit of problems from the kick on the black. I mentioned about his long potting, you have as well. It got quite a good uh, percentage strike rate, I think, of, of making them. Here it is again. Clean as a whistle. Not so clean that time. I think he's worried because obviously when the yellow goes back on its spot, then that red is not so much tied up, but it's, there's less room to get behind it, the one in bulk or on bulk line. So uh, maybe his concentration was divided there between pot and position. That's more like it, having seen Ryan Evans miss that previous red to the left middle, knocking that one in. And she got a nice kiss off the black as well, didn't she? Just needs that cue ball to roll a bit. That's uh, 21 points the difference then. The score should be at 52. There we go. Yeah, she needs to make sure she's on a relatively high colour because getting onto the yellow to win the frame from here wouldn't be easy. So blue, pink or black is what she wants to be on. And she's made sure of that. That was excellent. Well, she's a good dress player then, having missed one earlier on. You, I you do get a bit suspicious, as I say, when people play with their wrong hand all the time. There's the reason. I remember Dennis Taylor was... a. Uh, Pretty awful rest player, that's why he played left-handed. No need for any heroics there, it was just a black she needed. Shu now needs a snooker. 29 the difference, 27 on. Yeah, he'd like, she'd like to just pop the next ball after that, but as you say, mathematically, snooker required. And getting back to 3-2, it brings her right back into the match, Tim. She was slow to, to settle here. Which is completely understandable. This is a massive match for Rian. Obviously, it's for the wild card as well in Zhu, but all the tension has been on Rian Evans, and understandably, it's taken a while for her to settle down. But this frame is not over yet. I need the stretch of the imagination, but in fact, she's got a spot of bother here. Yeah, a little swerve. She should be all right on this, though, you'd hope. But as Neil says, if she wins this frame, we have a real match on our hands. 
The shoe's Mr. Yellow. I'm not quite sure how he managed that. It seemed harder to, to miss it than hit it. Well, that was another bonus for Ian Evans. So she leads by 33 points, 27 on. Two snookers now needed. Might have a chance here, though. Yeah, not, not quite from there. Not uh, going to be too easy to get a snooker from where the balls have finished up. Left a little window, I think, through the middle. And get to it, she can. It's a good shot from Rianne. If it is a snooker, it wouldn't be a difficult one to hit. She just can put a bit of right hand side, little bend around the pink. problem here if it was a snooker is Rianne would have to make sure she couldn't go in off she might be able to get to it actually and wouldn't be a million miles away from getting the pot as long as she didn't go the other side of the green the in off would have been on then at the moment Xu Yingwei is chasing the frame trailing by enough points Well, it's just covered the green there. It's easy to hit the green though. Actually, you could just get to it. Things should we in action later today front of his home fans. He'll face uh, Jamie Burnett, who's played well in China before, actually. Yeah, I mean, everything would point to Ding winning that match, but his record in Chinese events in the last two or three seasons is, is, is for someone of his ability, I would say, woeful. He's played some matches in China where he's just not played at anything like his best. He's lost to wild cards, all kinds of players have beaten him, and yet we know he's an absolutely world-class player, so he finds the pressure of playing front of his home fans sometimes too much another year though maybe he'll have learnt from everything that's gone before and he'll be a force he'd have to be one of the favorites but it's in the back of anybody's mind who would be thinking about backing him that you know, he just that has not been playing well for so long in tournaments in China well we'll see it's a new day Eighty thousand going to the winner of the Wuxi. Very good prize. Now the prize money has gone up, and eighty thousand pounds is uh, well worth winning. And generally speaking, there was a 
raising up of all the, the prize money for the forthcoming season, of which we're at a very early stage. Seven thousand points to the winner of this event, five thousand six hundred to the runner up. And of course we'll see as the green goes in. That's not quite gone right for Zhu. He still needs a couple of snookers here. Oof. That's nearly your favourite shot, Neil. What a cocked hat. You love that, don't you? Well, I don't know about that. It is a shot in the game, but uh, Leanne tried there. Well, it wouldn't have been a fluke if it had gone in, put it that way. She's got to be careful, Rihanna. I mean, she's got the the bonus that she did give a four-point foul away. Another one is still required, and a miss cannot be called. Well done. Sometimes they can roll off. Rianne Evans just one pot away from securing this frame. Double kiss again. But she'd be quite happy for Zhu to pot the brown. It'd be one less ball off the table. And Zhu decides to keep it on. She can totally understand as he still needs two snookers here. Now this will pot. Well played, Rianne Evans. That's surely the frame now. 32 points the difference. And that blue might be going in as well. That's definitely the frame now. Well, this is getting pretty interesting out here now. She was trailing 3-0, don't forget, Rianne Evans. She's won the last two frames. Zhu has something to think about. It's the first of five to face Neil Robinson, and you can tell by his expression, he's not happy. Rianne Evans has got him in a spot of bother. He still leads Zhu Yinghui by three frames to two, but Rianne Evans has taken the last two frames here.